It's C.J. Stroud's first crack at Cleveland. What do the Texans have in store on offense for the Browns? Welcome to the channel. I'm Cody Stutes. Let's talk some Texans as they get ready for the Browns. Super wild card weekend and the Houston Texans in the playoffs at home. NRG Stadium sold out crowd. It's going to be rocking. I hope you are ready for this one. I'm ready. I wish it was already game time. It's not quite there yet. So we still got previews to get to for this matchup. And I want to talk about this Texans offense. I mentioned it. CJ Stroud's first look at the Cleveland Browns. How the Texans fare against top defenses over the course of the season? And three pieces of this offense that I believe are ready to show off and show out for the Texans in their playoff opener. Bobby Slowick talked about four more games. Well, this is game one of those hopeful four for the Houston Texans, and they got to get it done on offense. Before we get to those three key members of the offense that I believe are ready to show up, throw me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Here are some stats about this team versus top defenses. And if you look at this, what I've got here is the top 13 defenses and then the Houston Texans from total yards allowed. And when you look at this, you'll see six teams that the Texans played over the course of the season. Cleveland, New York, Carolina, Baltimore, Atlanta, and New Orleans. So they played six of these top 13 defenses, and I included the top 13 so I could get New Orleans in there. So top 13, that's still a pretty good, it's just past halfway in the NFL. So it's a pretty solid defense. And obviously we know what Cleveland's bringing to the table with their defense. They've been fantastic this year between spot one and spot two on defense. They've got the fourth best margin over the past 10 seasons. So the Browns are playing really well, but I threw the Browns out, get out of here. CJ Stroud didn't play in that game. I threw the Browns out of this equation. I wanted to see how many points per game the Texans were averaging against these top defenses. So leaving Cleveland out of the equation, that left us with the Jets, the Panthers, the Ravens, the Falcons, and the Saints. Against the Jets, the Texans scored six points. Against the Panthers, they scored 13 points. Against the Ravens, they scored nine points. Against Atlanta, they scored 19 points. And against the Saints, they scored 20 points. Now, those are not the most impressive numbers in the world. And when you factor all those in, you smash them together, the points per game is 13.4. And that would be the worst in football. That would be worse than the Carolina Panthers over the course of their season. But that's just numbers and nerdery. And there's context that needs to be added. When the Texans played the Baltimore Ravens, that was the first game of the season. So, if you throw the Baltimore Ravens performance out, that jumps up to 14.5 points per game. Now, it's still not good. That's still a really bad figure, one of the worst in football, if that was how many points per game the Texans scored. But you could also make a sound argument for throwing the Jets game out. Nico Collins got hurt early on in that game. C.J. Stroud did not finish that game. I know he played most of it, but he didn't finish it. So when you throw that out, all of a sudden it becomes a respectable 17.3 for the Texans in points per game against top defenses. Now, when you flip it around to points per game, it gets a little bit different in points per game allowed. Again, Baltimore, but we're throwing that one out because it's the first game of the season and not a lot of other teams. You know, the Saints are right about what they allow for the season is what the Texans scored. This one is what got me excited about, hey, defense that does a good job of keeping points off the board. Remember the Tampa Bay Buccaneers game? And look, this isn't the exact same offense that the Texans had. In fact, it's banged up a ton compared to that. But you remember that Tampa Bay game? You look at that one. And you start to think, man, they put a bunch of points up against the Buccaneers. So against some top defenses, against some really tough, tight defenses, the Texans have had a fair amount and a decent amount of success. They've got to do that against the top defense in football, the Cleveland Browns. Now, the Cleveland Browns will be missing Denzel Ward in this game. And if he plays... I don't feel like he's going to play, but if he plays, he's not going to be anywhere close to the Denzel Ward that he has been for most of this season. 
Kevin Stefanski said he hurt his knee in practice. Ward was actually on the injury report with a shoulder injury, not the knee injury, but both those things ailing him. He may not go, and if he does go, he's not going to be 100%. There's three pieces of the Texans organization that I'm really excited to talk about for this game, and I very much believe in them. Before we do that, though, I want to tell you about my friends at Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy, the best way to play fantasy, two times your first deposit. That's right, two times your first deposit with Underdog Fantasy when you use my promo code Stutes, and you're saying to yourself, Cody, fantasy's over. No, no, fantasy's just getting started. Underdog Fantasy's format, pick them, is the best way to play fantasy. You're just taking stat predictions and going higher or lower on those stat predictions as Little as two, as many as five put together, you could 20 times your entry in just one game. You don't have to worry about season-long management injuries and stuff like that. The pick em format's unmatched, and you're going to get two times your first deposit when you use my promo code STOOTS. That's S-T-O-O-T-S, promo code STOOTS, S-T-O-O-T-S, to get two times your first deposit. Put in 10, get 20. Put in 50, get 100. It's up to $100. Put in 100, play with 200. Man, 20 times in your entry in just one game. It sure is fun. It's the best way to play fantasy. It's super easy. And at the end of this video, we'll put in our Texans Browns pick them entry. How about that? So stick around for that. The three pieces of the Texans offense that I very much believe are ready to rock in this one. Well, it starts with number seven. It starts with QB1. It starts with CJ Stroud. C.J. Stroud didn't get to play this Browns team. He's been able to sort of rev things up since he came back from the concussion. A nice, light, easy performance against the Titans and then really foot on the gas. Exactly what they needed out of a franchise, potential superstar quarterback in C.J. Stroud. Making big plays, that game-winning drive, seven for seven on that. He had the strike to get him into the uh, get him into the red zone right there on the goal line. He had the crazy backup, throw it up to Nico Collins play. He was finding Dalton Schultz. They overcame penalties to be able to move the ball, and they overcame uh, a sack to be able to move the ball on that drive. Really impressive stuff from C.J. Stroud. He is one of the biggest elements of this entire game. He may be the most important element of this entire game, more important than Miles Garrett or Joe Flacco or Amari Cooper or Derek Stingley or any of these things. C.J. Stroud, I just believe in him in big games. The next time he doesn't show up in a big game, in a win-or-go-home situation, probably the first time he doesn't show up in a win-or-go-home situation. He used his legs a little bit against the Colts to make things happen as well. Three rushes for 20 yards in that matchup. He's got to be excellent. He's got to be really good in this game to beat the Cleveland Browns, and I expect that he will be. He's risen to the occasion of multiple times throughout the course of his short NFL career. The biggest one last week, Obviously, we know what he did in college against Georgia. They didn't lose to the Bulldogs because it was C.J. Stroud's fault, okay? That is something to me that I can just believe is going to be a big positive for the Texans. C.J. Stroud, I believe he's ready to show up and show out against the Cleveland Browns. The second part of the three pieces that I believe will show up and show out against the Cleveland Browns, Nico Collins. Nico Collins was kept in check when Case Keenum was throwing the ball against this Cleveland Browns team. Nico Collins is coming off of the best game of his life, 195 receiving yards, set the tone, started things early with that big, huge play to get things going for the Texans. Man, I just believe Nico Collins is ready to rock. Hayden Winks, who's on Twitter at Hayden Winks, does a fantastic job of putting some advanced stats together that are easy to understand. Best team in football, extreme outlier on deep over the middle passes this year. That's the Houston Texans. Well, best team in defending deep over the middle passes at an extreme outlier, the Cleveland Browns. You got to have some success in what you do, despite the fact that Cleveland does that well and the best for the Texans at doing that is Nico Collins. How many times have we watched him run about 10 yards, turn that thing across the middle and have C.J. Stroud whip it over the middle to him and Nico be in stride, running over people, a yak monster like he is. I believe he finished in the top 12 in yards after the catch in the NFL this year. Nico Collins is 
a guy I believe in, especially with Ward hobbled and some of the coverages that the Browns play, some of the coverages that they play. Collins runs routes at an elite level and has elite level success. Okay. Elite level comparing how he plays to everybody else when they run those certain coverages. Nico Collins is elite in that. Hayden Winks with that stat as well on that. I just believe Nico Collins is the guy. Yes, you get a little Noah Brown back. Yes, you get a little Robert Woods back more than likely for both of those guys, but they're hobbled. They're not 100%. You can't bet on the rookies and Xavier Hutchinson and John Mechie. Dalton Schultz helps you out a little bit. You got to run the football some, but I believe in Nico Collins. It may not be exactly like Indianapolis. It ain't going to be 195 yards against the Cleveland Browns, but I trust in Nico Collins to get stuff done in this matchup. My last element, my third piece that I believe will show up and show out against this Cleveland Browns team, how about Bobby Slowick, the offensive coordinator? Now, you know if you've watched the videos, and I know just listening to you in the comment section here, which, of course, the comment section is down below, comment section here on social media, we haven't always been in love with what Bobby Slowick has put together. We haven't always been in love with how Bobby Slowick calls a game, manages a game, but... I believe Slowick will have something for this Cleveland Browns team. He didn't have to show a lot, and he couldn't show a lot against the Browns the first time. But Bobby Slowick has grown a lot from the beginning of the season to where he is now. Think about some of the games where we were just sitting there like, God, he just stuck. He can't get out of his own way. A lot of that was in the early part of the season. He gimmicked together this offense against Tennessee in Nashville with Case Keenum to make it work, to make it happen. He took care of business, eased C.J. Stroud in against the Titans in Houston a few weeks ago, and then last week to have the cojones, the intestinal fortitude to get on that microphone, get in C.J. Stroud's helmet and say, hey, let's hit that bomb on the first play if we get the look that we want. Next thing you know, it's to the house for the Texans, and they got a lead on the Indianapolis Colts. I felt like he called a really nice game. Sure, C.J. Stroud helps him a lot with some of the plays that Stroud can extend and make, but I just believe Slowick's going to be able to manage this game, get C.J. Stroud in a rhythm, get him attacking this Cleveland Browns team. You're not going to blow them out. You're not going to score a ton of points against Cleveland. At least that's not how I feel this thing going. I feel like the sweet spot that you need to get to, defense plays well, the sweet spot you need to get to, 17 to 20 points. 17 to 20 points, that feels to me like a point where if the defense is on that day, they could take care of their business. They slow down Amari Cooper. That's enough points for you to win that football game. That's two touchdowns and two field goals. You can get to that. The Texans are capable of that, and Slowick's got to call a game. He's got to be uh, aggressive when he needs to be aggressive. He's got to be able to trust guys on key plays. Don't get bogged down. Don't get too cute. I believe in Bobby Slowick and believe that he's going to get this thing done for the Texans as well. So Stroud, Collins, and Slowick, they're the three guys that I believe are showing up and showing out against this Cleveland Browns team. What say you? Who else needs to show up and show out for this Texans team for them to beat the Browns and continue the march? Bobby Slowick said it. Four more games. This is game one of hopefully four for the Houston Texans. You can't get to game two, three, and four until you take care of business in game one. One. Hit the comment section down below and let me know who's showing up and showing out in this matchup. Throw me a thumbs up on the video as well. On your way down there, you'll see in the description, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy, the best way to fantasy. I told you we're going to put together a Underdog Fantasy Pick'em entry for this matchup. So when you go to Underdog Fantasy on the Pick'em tab, this is what it's going to look like. They've got pre-made Pick'ems for you if you want to go in there and throw in a pre-made pick them. Oh, look at all the sports that they do too, by the way. Basketball, hockey, college hoops, soccer, esports, tennis, golf. You can mix and match sports as well, but we're doing the NFL and we're starting with Cleveland and Houston. So I don't like hardly any of these Cleveland uh, stat predictions. That's tough. I can't really figure out what Flacco is going to do. I don't think it's going to be last time, but if you told me he went for 270 and two touchdowns, okay, I, I believe that. We're staying away from that. I don't like Cleveland's rushing attack. I mean, come on. 
Are the Texans, I believe they're going to slow down Amari Cooper. He's not going for a record-setting amount of yards. Hey, really out on a limb there, Cody, but uh, he's going to score. He's going to beat somebody on the goal line and score. So we're going higher. And look, that's a spicy one. Uh, that's a uh, multiplier. So we're going to get even more than our typical 20 times our entry if we can get this one correct. I don't like any of these other Browns ones. Get them away from me. Get the Browns away from me. Here we go. C.J. Stroud used his legs to the 2 to 20 yards last week. I like higher on the rushing yards for C.J. Stroud. Staying away from the rushing attack of the Texans. I just told you I believe Nico Collins is going to take care of his business, so we're going higher on Nico Collins' five-and-a-half receptions. He's hit that more than half this season. Uh, Dalton Schultz, I told you, over the middle, deep. The Browns do a good job defending it. Well, what better time to get the ball to Dalton Schultz than this matchup? So a lot of offense here. Receiver, receiver, quarterback, tight end. Oh, look, they've got defenders too. An underdog fantasy. I love what Christian Harris has brought to the table for the Texans since basically the midpoint of the Buccaneers game. I love what Harris has been able to do. Eight tackles and assists for Christian Harris. I like higher than that. Would be 25 times our standard payout. Sometimes these playoff games can get a little funky. Let's ensure the entry for $10. So it lowers our potential win should we get them all correct. But we still win something if we get four out of five. Hey, turning 10 bucks into 31 bucks, you can live with that on most days. Turn it into 125. That's what we're rooting for here with Underdog Fantasy. Let's go ahead. And get that in. Boom. That's how easy it is at Underdog Fantasy. And you can put in a ton of entries for a ton of games. I'll be playing it all weekend long. I want you to play it as well. S T O O T S Stutes is my code for you to get two times your first deposit. Sign up with the link in the description. It'll auto fill that code for you, and you'll get two times that first deposit with Underdog Fantasy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. It's playoff time, baby. The official score prediction and the final thoughts will be on Houston football. Check that out in the description down below. I can't wait till we talk Texans and hopefully a Texans win again soon.